Hello, my name is Jordan Bird, and today I'm going to be presenting our work Mental Emotional Sentiment Classification with an EEG based brain machine interface. To give a quick summary of our work, we gathered EEG data from a range of subjects during three different emotional states positive and negative, which were enticed by stimuli, and neutral too. Many statistics were extracted from the data, feature selection algorithms were performed, and then finally benchmarking of classification techniques was performed. To give a short overview of the presentation, I'm going to give a quick introduction to EEG, the data acquisition we performed, statistical extraction techniques, feature selection algorithms, the model training itself, results, and suggested future work. So what is EEG? Uh, electroencephalography is when you place sensitive electrodes on and around the cranium to detect small electric electrical signals that originate from the brain, a side effect of the brain's electrical internal activities. Since all conscious human activities are triggered within the brain, we can use EEG to discern what a person is thinking, feeling and doing. Using a Muse EEG headband with four electrodes, TP9, AF7, AF8 and TP10, EEG data was recorded from subjects whilst exposed to the stimuli in the table to the left. Since waves are complex, we downsampled the data to 150 Hz and then ran a sliding window over the data of length 1 and this occurred every half second. From the time windows, the following statistics were extracted to form the full data set. From the quarter and half second windows, the mean value, max value and min value, the standard deviation of the wave within the window, statistical moments of the third and fourth order, mean value distance, maximum value distance and minimum value distance, log covariance, Shannon entropy, log energy entropy and accumulative energy features of the wave. Each of these statistics for the time windows are then labelled to the nominal emotion, which forms a data set with very high dimensionality. The data set produced had over two and a half thousand dimensions and thus would be extremely intensive to classify, possibly even wasting computational resources. And for this reason, we perform feature selection to reduce the data set. Four methods of feature selection pr produce four new and final data sets to be classified by various algorithms. We chose the one rule Bayesian network, callback Leibler divergence and symmetrical uncertainty data sets. We chose many different models for machine learning, both single models, the random tree support vector machine, naive Bayes, Bayesian network, logistic regression and a deep neural network. And we also tried ensemble methods, the random forest and the Ada boost algorithm. The best single model was the deep neural network achieving 94.89, but this was outperformed by the random forest, which had an overall best score of 97.89. In terms of future work, we suggest that since we had very impressive results from ensemble methods, we should maybe explore further ensembles. We should also look at higher resolution EEG headsets, uh, exploration of neural network for topologies for deep learning through heuristic algorithms or the heuristic search, which often beat random forest in previous experiments when they're very well tuned, actual applications in mental human robot interaction, and an experiment that we're currently performing, the visual space approach, which is where we project EEG as images and then classify them by convolutional neural network image classification techniques. The preliminary experiments we've run at the moment are very promising and do outperform most other techniques. Uh, obviously, I can't answer questions in real time, but if, if anybody has any questions, please contact me at birdj one astonacuk the data set we use for this experiment is freely available online on my Kaggle page. Uh, my username is birdie654 on there. Some of the future work that I mentioned is now published and it, the, the papers are available on my website at jordanjamesbird.com. Thank you very much for listening.